is the NFL finally going to get some competition? Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! Welcome to Camera TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your cool things like Facebook, and Reddit, and Instagram, and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to hit the bell notification, man. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. I upload randomly, so I don't want you guys to miss out. So definitely hit the bell icon, man. When you see the squeaking lines, you know you have been notified. And guys, the NFL seems like it's against the competition. Um, there's a new you know, organization or whatever um, that's coming about that uh, is pretty interesting. I think we definitely got to talk about. Um, there's an organization that came out before and is trying to make a resurgence. We got to talk about that. And we got to talk about what gives these leagues some validity. So, we got a lot to talk about today, guys, so let's get started. For you guys who want me to go back to my Carolina Panther uh, programming, that will be back soon. But, in this situation, I want to talk about this. Um, there is an organization being built, um, obviously, called the Freedom Football League. It's, you know, created by the players. And a lot of former players, NFL players, are, you know, responsible for this. You know what I'm saying? Responsible, responsible for creating this league, like Ricky Williams and Terrell Owens. And to me, you know, it's just another competitor for the NFL, which we're going to talk about some other ones. But I like it, man. Like, in the NFL, there's not so many minority owners. I mean, you could, I think the Dolphins owner is my, considered a minority owner. But, I mean, in this sense, I'm talking about black and just, you know, not just black, but obviously just in general, minority owners. Um, so this is a good situation. You know, I like that, you know, the players are finally going to be able to own something. In basketball, you got the Michael Jordans who owns the Charlotte Hornets. You got Magic Johnson who tried by the Lakers. So you got some, you know, minority ownership and, and higher ranking minorities in the organizations. But um, besides, you know, Rooney, you know, Art Rooney, who creator, or basically the founder of the Rooney Rule, there's not really any minority owners. So I'm really happy about this situation. Maybe, um, I've talked about it before, Steph Curry and, and um, you know, Pete Diddy wanted to own the Carolina Panthers when it was for sale. So maybe they can get into that situation also. I wouldn't be mad at that. But it also gives some of the fans, you know, like in Green Bay, they are partial, they could be partial owners. They could pay a certain amount, whatever, as a state or whatever, probably, and um, own partially of the team. Also, you know, players and operators. So it's really good, you know, saying for the former players because at the end of the day, they love this game just like we love the game. And for them to be able to, you know, own a team and say, this is my team, whatever. Because playing is great, you know what I'm saying? But it's not your team. As much as, you know, you, you have connection and and you love that team because you play for them, it's not your team. You know what I'm saying? Now they can actually have their own teams, you know what I'm saying, uh, and their own teams they support and they're partial owners of. So I think it's a really good idea. I'm, I'm happy for it, whatever. They said it's going to be like Ice Cube's, like, big three, like maybe a seven-on-seven -seven situation. So it's not going to be actually like the NFL, which is like 11-on-11. 11 11. But, you know, it is good for the owners to actually have some, you know, the former players to have something to one of what they could be owners of and, they can appreciate it just as much as they appreciate their former teams. Not only do we have the Freedom Freedom Football League, which is we the FFL, you have the XFL. The XFL obviously, you know, was you know another football league that came about, but didn't last long. But one of the you know good players from the XFL was uh, he hate me. You know, what I'm saying he was very pretty famous over there. But um, they're making resurgence. They just named like you know three or four cities. They're gonna you know be in or create teams for Los Angeles. New York, Tampa Bay, Dallas in 2020. One, the inaugural cities, whatever that they're gonna, you know, launch their XFL with. So, you know, obviously, you know, you got the, you know, AFL too, which is Arena Football League, which is, you know, obviously a good football league too. But you know, it, it leaves something to be desired. You know, it is Arena Football League, and I mean, they got some good players over there too. But you know, the NFL is getting some real competition as far as just new leagues getting created. Now, mind you, if they last, we'll see. Obviously, we don't know how that's going to play out, but it is pretty cool that they're getting some, you know, competition. Uh, the NBA doesn't really have that much competition either, but it does have some. You know, it has a little bit more than the um, NFL. The NFL has Canadian Football League. It has the, you know, American, um, the Arena Football League. But the NBA has, you know, they have overseas. They can play for China. They can play for, you know, wherever the ball, you know, ball family went, wherever, Latvia, wherever it was. So there's other, you know, basketball leagues they can join up to. Whereas the NFL, it's not really much. You know, so you got Canadian, you got Arena, and that's about it. You know what I'm saying? So it is, you know, it's interesting, whatever, that more people are trying to create their own football leagues, whatever. Um, we'll see how that whole thing plays out. Obviously, the XFL, I think they're just trying to make headlines. They're saying 
Colin Kaepernick might be one of the places, you know, you know, he might sign one of the XFL teams. I don't think so. I think just, people just like throwing his name around. But it is interesting that the NFL is getting some competition finally. I love the NFL. I do. But, you know, it is good to see. You know, sometimes, like, just like, you know, baseball, you got the major league and the minor leagues. They will be considered the minor leagues. You know what I'm saying? In that situation. Because, obviously, they're not as big as the NFL yet. But, you know, who knows, man? You know, this has happened before. Um, you know, they had some competition back in the old days. They obviously folded. Um, you know what I'm saying? Sam Mills is one of the players that came from the other football leagues. So, it is what it is, man. It's just good to see some competition. It's good to see some, you know what I'm saying, some other players, some of the guys that may not make it to the NFL, but can, you know, you know may not make it on a practice squad team, but can actually be like, I think Britton Burson will probably be a star in the XFL, or, the, you know what I'm saying. So we'll see how that plays out, man. Uh, it's pretty interesting, but we'll just see how that plays out. I do think it's a pretty cool idea, and I, I'm happy that, you know, the Freedom Football League is coming together, and some players are going to be able to be, become owners. And the XFL is going to bring some competition in the NFL. I think that's a very good idea, man. But my thing is this. For these leagues to have some validity, meaning that they last for a, a while, uh, you got to be, you got to realize some big fish. And, that, and, that's, and that's what uh, the big three has done and they're still trying to do. They need a, they're trying to find a, a really big fish. Maybe a player that's, you know, newly retired but a really big name to get some more draw in. I mean, they got some really good players. You know, Al Harrington, Kenyon Martin, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you need some players that have validity. And I mean, you know, we'll see if, you know, maybe Vince Young decides to come out, you know, come and try to play. Or, you know, uh, you know Eddie Lacy, who's out of the league. Trey Mason. Kelvin Benjamin, who's obviously, I think he still want, you know, take, you know, I think he still thinks he can get in the NFL. But if he doesn't, you know, he could probably go to the FFL or the XFL. You know what I'm saying? So it gives... You know, these players that kind of flamed out in the NFL, another opportunity. So we'll see how that whole thing pans out. But um, it will be pretty interesting, man, you know what I'm saying, to see some of these guys. Uh, you know, some of these guys I think can still actually play. And it will be, it will give some validity if you can get one of the guys that is a pretty good player, you know what I'm saying, to come to your, your establishment over the NFL. And that's the only way they can really get any validity is if they kind of start luring good players away from the NFL or, you know, if they're going to come out for a draft, they can go to the XFL, or the, no, the FFL, over the NFL. That's when you start being like, hey, you're an actual competitor. Right now, like I said, it's only the minor leagues versus the major leagues, whereas you, when you want to be, you know what I'm saying, on the same footing as the NFL, which probably doesn't happen. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think it might happen because the NFL has a huge brand. They have, you know, a lot of sponsors. They just, you know, they're a pretty big entity. But if you want to start chipping away at the NFL at all, you got to start sapping some of the good players because that's what teams follow. Great players is what the team follows, man. Now, as much people love their teams, and, like, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be pretty hard to get a Green Bay fan to watch the uh, you know, FFL or the XFL or a Pittsburgh Steelers fan or even a Carolina Panthers fan. Y'all already know what I love to But um, it is, you know, you got to start doing that, man. You know, so you got to start seeping away a little by little because the only way you're going to get validity is if you get some good young players to come and play and actually be entertaining and enticing. So we'll see how that whole thing plays out. But, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it lasts. But I don't, I don't really think it will. But we'll see, man. Anything can happen. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section, man. How you feel about the Freedom Football League? Do you think it will last? Do you think it will die out soon? And how you feel about players actually owning teams and fans being a part of the ownership group? Let me know how you feel about that all in the comment section, man. And uh, do you think, like I said, do you think it'll last? Because I don't know, man. You got, like I said, you got to start pulling some young talent into your fold so you can actually last the you know, standard test of time. Um, definitely copy your camera TV, shirts and apparel, hats, all kinds of cool stuff. That link is in the description below. Check out the Patreon page. That link is also in the description below. Check out my daughter Ron Steen's video. This video is going to be the very end of mine. It's in the end screen. Very funny dude. Very talented. We're going to keep on doing some collaborations, man. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, Chefs work. Share all football news. All Panthers fans, anybody Panther related, anybody football related, let them know El Camera TV is rocking with Panther Nation. And Panther Nation rocking with El Camera TV. Thank y'all for showing love, man. Um, for y'all who want me to get back to Carolina Panther programming, I will be back on Carolina Panther programming. I just, you know, want to talk about this because I feel like it's a pretty good topic. I think we could have a great conversation. So, I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.